snuck in here. I'm over at my father-in-law's place. It's like 30 acres of woods surrounded by a lot of ag land. Pretty good. A lot of deer around here. And uh, we actually saw two walking in in the dark and one red fox. We're going to sit here. He's just behind me about 80 yards looking the other way. I'm on kind of on top of the hill hoping the neighbors push some deer this way. They just mill around in here. There's a whole bunch of beds just right down the hill. So hopefully big doe comes out and uh, gives me a good shot. I feel pretty good about it. I think it's just a matter of waiting them out. And we should come through here. So hopefully we get lucky. snow's coming in again. Last couple days have just been your typical rifle season weather. Makes me appreciate archery more and more every year, but no deer movement. Two does snuck behind me past my uh, father-in-law. I don't know how long we're gonna sit. Stuff's probably pretty much hunkered down for the day. There's not a lot of guys moving deer around probably, but just need one. Just one deer, but got the hand warmers out and trying to hold tight. Hey. What's that? <laughs> One just came up from the... She came up over. I, she ran over there. I'm pretty sure I got her. <laughs> All right, well, I just shot that doe. The camera bumped off of it when I uh, shot, so I don't know where I hit, but I don't think she hopefully went too far. I was right on her. I'm gonna go look for blood, and hopefully she's not too far away. It's tracked up pretty damn good. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is, right there. I was like, man, I was scared there for a second. How's there no blood? There really wasn't a lot of blood though. She is. No, not at all. I was like, I must have, I don't know how I would have missed it. Oh, yep, she's a go. Oh, good go. Whoa. She's all full of blood. You hit her low, I think. Oh. All right, nice big doe. She didn't really end up going too far. I shot her a little bit low, but the bullet just exploded in there. There wasn't a whole lot of blood. But I was just showing my father-in-law this trick a buddy showed me the other day. To drag this thing out, you take, make a slit right here in the back of the leg. You can take this other hind foot and just slip it in there. Then you can either drag her right this like a handle or it keeps the other leg up. You can drag her by this leg. So <laughs> we're going to get her drug out and that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>